You know, I always hated the term popcorn movie or summer blockbuster, almost like a an excuse for a movie just to be, you know, eye candy and not like have any thought put into it. Well, in the case of Deadpool 3, it, it is a mixture of both, but I think that's what we needed. You know, for us uh, toy, comic, pop culture fans, a lot of people are enjoying San Diego Comic-Con. Um, so for us to go to the movies on a July, late July summer day, and just kind of, I wouldn't say shut your brain off, but sit back, eat your popcorn, sit with a friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever floats your boat, and just enjoy a movie and not see something that is, makes you scratch your head or something that makes you question, why did they do this? Why does this person look like this? Why is, you know, you know, I don't, I don't like getting into mixing politics with my channel, but sometimes you just question things. It looks like things are just changed just because. None of that is prevalent here. Let's talk about Deadpool 3 today on Toy Games. Just look, just talking about Disney as a whole, um, big asshole, um, from Indiana Jones to the Acolyte to, I don't know, Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. And for me, I watch all this stuff. So if you mix in The Flash, I know it has nothing to do with Disney or Marvel, um, which I actually didn't hate The Flash. I, I had some fun with it. Comic book, pop culture movies, all together combined. You know, I when I watch movies, there's the, you know, movies like The Wrestler and Shawshank Redemption. The, I, high, the, I hold them to a higher standard. And that doesn't mean when I see a comic book film, I want to see schlock. But I can appreciate Rocky IV just as much as Rocky I. Two different completely movies, schools of thought. Pacing. Um, I'm not a film historian, or, or I'm not James Rolfe, a film. Uh, what did he call himself? I, I, I forgot. Pretty funny term that James Rolfe co fancies himself. I watch a movie. I know why I like it. I know why I dislike it. The the term popcorn film. The first time I heard it was like uh, a friend saw Trent the Michael Bay Transformers. Said, oh, you just, you know, I know you love the G1 designs and I know you love the cult cartoon, but you just got to appreciate it because it's a popcorn film. And I saw it and hated it. Uh, all the, all the, everything was ugly and loud and uh, a mess that just happened to have transforming cars in it. Uh, I, I just can't. Um, if the design is bad, if it's a big, loud mess, it's not fun to me. Let's get to Deadpool 3. Now, I'm not even the biggest Deadpool fan. My favorite Deadpool anything is the High Moon video game, which is out of print, hard to find, overpriced now. I didn't really care about him in the comics. I don't really care about him as a character. But I like the first two movies. I like the game. And I appreciate what people like about him. You know, he's a, he's a nut. He says whatever he wants. He breaks the fourth wall. He's good for the young, a generation kind of behind me. And that's fine. He reminds me of uh, Jim Carrey in The Mask, if he put on, like, Spider-Man suit. He, he just, you never know what he's going to say, how he's going to act. And in this film, it's uh, borders on obnoxious at times. And it borders on, when did the, you know, when did the joke stop? But that's why Wolverine is what I was there for. And that's where the movie has good balance. Almost like 48 hours with Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. Reminds me of a buddy cop movie where you have the straight man, you have the guy who's not entertained by any of this bullshit. And let me get this out of the way. 
the movie's plot and story was all created just to have these two characters in the film. Nothing is retconned. The Logan movie still exists. It, it gets into all that. It's not like they resurrected them. Um, they did that well. But the plot and story exists so these two characters can be in a film together. And you know what? I don't care uh, about that. I don't care that it's sloppy or it's just forced. If the end result is fun, if the end result isn't total crap, if, if they pay homage to comics, if the uniform finally... We see Wolverine in the yellow and blue, and they address that a bunch of times, and it's fun. If the end result is a fun product, a fun thing to watch and do, I can live with things that aren't, like, perfect. What the hell did I just say? Things, not sings. Jesus. And that's what you have. You have a fun movie. You have a lot of comedy. Some of it really works. I actually think, in my opinion, Hugh Jackman was funnier than Deadpool. And not that to say Deadpool didn't make me laugh at times, but it was a little too much jokes after joke after joke. And then when Hugh, ja Hugh Jackman makes you laugh, it's like he nails it. Hugh Jackman, great performance. You could tell he still loves playing this character. And he got swole. He got jacked again. Hugh jacked man. He hit them Australian um, market for the roids. He nailed it again. There's some some... I don't want to spoil anything. I will. I don't even want to spoil the villain because I didn't know how the, who the villain was going into it. And and for this kind of character, could have ruined the movie. But she looked great. She looked exactly like she does in the later comics. Um, could have ruined it. They didn't. Um, and here's the other funny thing: like people like for a movie for like Gary from Nerd Verotic, whatever the fuck, you know, who cries every, about everything being woke. Um, this is funny because this movie addresses woke culture to a little t degree. They, you know, Deadpool mentions it. Um, this movie clearly, you know, says a, words that supposedly shouldn't be said anymore. At the same time, it clearly embraces Deadpool's like uh, bisexual side. And I didn't care. You know, if you do it and make it fun and funny, we don't care. And I, I'm sure Gary's going to have a fucking hard time reviewing this because it embraces uh, gay culture, but makes it fun and funny. So hopefully maybe he addresses that because that he's the number one guy for movie reviews in our culture. I don't know why he seems, uh, I don't know. I don't hate watch anything. I watch it. I give it a chance. Even the Acolyte, I didn't hate watch it. I don't think Acolyte is terrible. It's just not fun or worth watching again. And bringing it back to Deadpool, this is what we needed. We needed fun. We needed to see things that make us, uh, you know, not remember berries, but there is a definitive look for Wolverine. There's a definitive look for other people you see. you will see in this film. And I am cool with that. I am cool with seeing a movie that nails enough points on the bullet bo board. Is that a thing? No, it's not. Bullet points. <laughs> and action, good. Uh, comedy, little too much, but when it, when it was done well, it was done well. I think you will have a good time. The pacing for a two-hour film, I didn't feel like I was sitting there like, when the hell is this going to be over with? I actually... um think the pacing for a two-hour film was great. I, I am dying to know, because it just came out, I'm really curious to see with uh, what when this is out for like a week, what fans are going to say. Because they, they there's a lot of things in this movie, a lot of references. There's a Rob Liefeld reference that had me dying and I thought was very clever. So I'm dying. I really can't wait to see what everyone thinks. I know what I think. I think if you go in... Wanting to have fun, wanting to see something that is like a palate cleanser after all the bullshit, you will get that. As always, take care, have fun, let me know what you think. Are you going to see Deadpool? Do you not give a shit about the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Are you going to now buy the new toys that they got us to double dip on these sons of bitches? I'll tell you what, that was, that was smart, uh, Hasbro, because I wouldn't have bought these two figures if I had 
had seen what was just revealed. So, well played. Well played. Till next time. Woo! Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah!